Looks like we have a new open source large language model that is closing the code generation quality gap with GPT-4 Turbo while running four times faster, which is really great to see. Introducing Find 70 b In its previous release, they had claimed to beat GPT-4 on human evil for code generation, and now we see that it's closing the quality gap. Now the thing is, Fin70B can generate 80 plus tokens a second, whereas GPT-4 is reporting to generate around 20-ish tokens per second. The main selling point here for Fin is obviously the inference speed, which is becoming a big factor for comparing the two models. It's a model that is based on Code Llama 70B and tuned on 50 billion tokens more, which also supports 32k tokens. All right, just take a look at this demo where I'm gonna ask Find or Find, whatever you wanna call it, to create me a consulting website for AI using HTML. And I also stated that make sure there is a button that states book now. So I'm gonna now quickly just click enter and I'm gonna have it generate the code. Now this might take a couple of seconds, but you can see already that it also lists, lists down all the sources that are needed for me to do this. And once it has finished the code, we're actually gonna try it out with Tailwind and set this up together. And there you have it. You have the book now button, which I can center afterwards, but you get a gist of it. It created me a consulting book now page, which is actually looking really decent. This is something that you can obviously configure afterwards, but you get a gist of it. It's able to generate quite high quality code for you and it's able to do it within a couple of seconds. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Find a little bit more further in detail by taking a look at the blog post, showcase how you can get started, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned. And let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey guys, before we move on to the video, I just want to simply say thank you. This YouTube channel has just hit 40,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I simply cannot fathom that. This is something that I started a year ago, and I didn't have any hopes to gain anything out of it. I just simply did it because I really loved AI, and I just wanted to push the best use case of it. I wanted to help people and make a good impact in this world. And that was something that ended up blowing up over this past year, and I simply cannot thank you guys because this has definitely changed my life. Each viewer, each subscriber, each person who liked my video, or each person who shared my video, you guys have changed my life for the best, and I can't thank you guys enough. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Now, this is simply not the start, guys. This is just the beginning, and I'm going to be pushing the best content, working my hardest to make sure that you guys can elevate your game in the AI space with this YouTube channel. So with that thought, guys, let's get right back into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Find or Find, which is introducing their 70 billion parameter model. It's a model that's closing the code quality gap with GPT-4 Turbo while running four times faster, which is just amazing to see. It operates at up to 80 tokens per second, providing high quality answers for technical queries, and this is without the need for long waiting times. This is a model that's based on Code Llama 70B, and it has been fine-tuned on an additional 80 or sorry, 50 billion tokens, and it's yielding significant improvements. It also supports a context window of 32K tokens, which is great for long generation, especially in regards to code completion. 
Now, in their latest assessment, they basically scored an 82.3% on Human Evolve, which is beating GPT-4 Turbo. Now, if we are to take a look at Meta's Crux Evolve dataset, it's something that was able to score 59%, which is slightly lower than GPT-4's reported 62% on the output prediction benchmark, but it's still worth noticing. Now, these are some of the standardized datasets that might not fully capture real-world usage scenarios, but it's a great way for you to get a good practical understanding as to how it's performing against these other models. And if you are to just take a look at FIND 34 billion parameter model, it still does a relatively good job in comparison to many of the other models. And you can take a look at this on Hugging Face because they do have an AI workbench uh, comparison tool which will test the performance of different models on different benchmarks but in practical applications we can see that this FIND 80 or sorry 70 billion parameter model is quite similar to GPT-4 Turbo for code generation and in certain cases it's even able to outperform it and one of the great selling points for this model is that it has a faster inference speed in comparison to GPT-4 Turbo which is great to see and this is obviously really good for code generation in faster context, as well as having a 32K context window for the output for this generation. Now, if you're interested in running this model locally, which I doubt since it's a really large model, but if you are and you do have the compute to actually do so, they're gonna be releasing this model fairly soon. And you can actually access it through Hugging Face. And this is by going to their model and finding their model card. And once they do have it uploaded this week, you can simply just click on it, copy the model card. Once you have copied it, you can just go over to LM Studio, which I have a video on, and I can leave this in the description, which will show you how to install LM Studio. This is a great application where you can run any sort of open source model locally. So once you have that installed, you can then paste the model card and click go. Once you have done that, you're going to be able to install the model based off of the different quant approaches so definitely install the one that is best fit for you and once you have that installed you can then go over to the conversations tab and load the model up and you can start chatting with it right away so i'm going to ask Vind how i can implement a stack data structure using an array with push pop and peak operations and the reason why i'm asking this is because i want to see if Vind the model is able to understand different types of data structures and this will evaluate if the large language model is able to understand the concept of a stack and how it can be implemented using different arrays and we can clearly see right away that it's doing a great job in defining different structures and it also is able to give me a good description as to what it generated and we can see that you can also run this on replit so if you are to click on this it'll take you to the replit.com web page and once you have signed in you're going to be able to run this stack implementation and we can see over here this description is quite detailed and we can see that it's an implementation that uses python list as the underlying data structure for the stack it defines the push method defines the pop method as well as the peak method and at the end it's saying that this is a method that returns the list and this is obviously for the peak allowing you to see what's on the top of the stack without altering it now the is empty method checks if the stack is empty by comparing the length of the list to zero and we clearly only required these three but it went above and beyond and gave me another method and this is just great to see as to how it's able to implement a stack data structure and that's basically it for today's video on fin70b this is definitely a new great open source large language model that is based in the coding category now i truly recommend that you check this out as well as the links that we used in today's video in the description below so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it make sure you check out the, the twitter page if you guys haven't already this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news make sure you follow us on the patreon page if you want to access our private discord this is a great way for you to gain different sorts of subscriptions completely for free networking opportunities consulting and such forth make sure you follow us on youtube by subscribing turning on the notification bell liking this video and checking out our previous videos so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas